So I made a Balloon CD Battles Tower tier list video a few weeks ago. If you haven't checked it out, by the way, check it out. And I ended up ranking all of these towers in the F tier, which is the lowest tier for the towers, meaning I think these towers are the worst towers in the game. Now, if you didn't watch the video though, I don't think the tower in general is in the F tier, but the upgrade, okay? I was doing max side upgrades on both sides. So for example, that wizard right there, that represents the max upgrade for two wizard, which is the Tempest Tornado Wizard. I I think that tower is in the F tier lowest tier and I remember I ended up liking this comment and this guy said ultimate challenge win with only F tier towers and that's what we're going to be doing for today's video if you guys are new to the channel or a recent viewer of mine please consider subscribing because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed and remember it's free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day enjoy the video polar is going to be our first opponent okay we are in the highest arena being my pit free power-ups okay and uh, yeah, we're gonna be using these F tier towers. Obviously, when I rank these towers, this is my personal opinion. And remember, it's the max upgrade on either the left or the right side of the towers, not the tower in general, right? So Super Monkey Lane, honestly, not the best map because we're gonna have to go with an eco strategy because I did not rank the banana farm in the F tier because I love that tower. Um, oh, Shadow River, okay. Polar, by the way, he has zero medallions. Oh my God, Pinball Wizard, okay. So I, I think... We have to go with the wizard, hence the wizard in the name of the map. And then we just straight up can't go with the boat, so it looks like we're going to have to go with the super monkey and then also the chipper. Now, I could also use a robo farmer, but that obviously wouldn't do anything for us because we don't have farms. And also, I'm not spending real life money on something I don't want, you know, so <laughs> I'm just straight up not going to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, we got to remember that we need to use the uh, right upgrades on these towers that are ranked okay so for the wizard for example we're going to be upgrading on the left side to eventually the tempest tornado all right but round two is here let's start this end the young man constant freaking reds at least we can go for the lightning upgrade that's the one good thing about starting off with this wizard okay and there's no way we can start off with either the super monkey or the balloon chipper it just would not end very well not gonna lie to y'all though uh, but he is now sending me constant reds, okay? He also did go for a double shot ninja on his side, which not the great starting tower, but for now, he's going to be able to handle all of this, all right? But constant blues on round five, I don't think he's going to be able to handle, boys. I truly, truly don't. He is not happy. Let's continue on with these blues now. And he might send us some space pings. Um, we should be good, though, if he does. No, he went for another ninja next to his current ninja. And we're going to be using our first super eco boost right at the start of round five. Okay, so like, I guess it's not all that bad because we are in free power ups. We got to go to power combination to help us out with these terrible, terrible upgrades. All right, let's start to send greens now. Uh, he's got two double shot ninjas, so he's going to be good. Oh my God. Of course, he's sending me space blocks. Okay, I want to stop you doing for... <gasps> he's got the freaking salted wounds, boys. No freaking way man okay so we're gonna go for a zero zero balloon chipper right here i'm going to be setting that bad boy too strong it's actually going to help us out quite a bit so i'm happy that we kind of have that in our strategy not gonna lie maybe just maybe i'll end up bumping up some of the ranks for these towers okay um and that's a big maybe by the way all right but we did forget to use our super eco boost as per usual i'll just use that at the start of round eight we're at 526 eco okay so we're looking super super great i'm actually gonna stop ecoing right freaking now and he's also got the wizard on his side okay ninja with a combo i always say this not a good tower combination okay i know the ninja the wizard uh by themselves they're good but when combining them together there's just way better combinations in the game okay straight up it's just not going to work out for him in the end all right but my goal is to like try to go a little bit more later with this strategy okay so we're not just going to be all out in this guy round 13 or anything like that all right uh oh okay so a few regen pinks right there Obviously, though, we ended up being good. That was really, really random, okay? And, uh, yeah, he's not all that happy. He's actually currently crying at me. I guess we're going to be using our final Super Eco Boost, by the way, at the start of round 12. I always forget. Boys, I try to use them at the start of round 5, 7, and 9, but I'm, like, constantly talking, commentating. I just get freaking caught up in the moment, and I end up forgetting, all right? So, that's fine, though. Let's see what the young man does here on round 13 okay we do have a glue storm and a damage boost to rely off of and uh yeah so far he has absolutely yet to do anything and just keeps on crying at me man we're gonna go for the uh summon whirlwind three two freaking wizard right here okay because like like i said when ranking these towers they were in the max upgrades so we might as well use the max upgrades we didn't necessarily need this upgrade but 
yeah, I kind of want to showcase those a little bit more. Okay, so I guess we're going to start Space Eco in a little bit. I feel like he's just saving up money because, like, he's not upgrading his defenses. He's not doing anything, really. So, like, what is the young man doing? I'm going to go for a double freaking Tornado Wizard. Why not? Just why not? I'm going to send him some pinks here. Dude, see, like, he's going to straight up die, man. He needs to upgrade, bro. He straight up was leaking to those pinks that I just sent him. I barely sent him any pinks. His Ninja 2 is not in the greatest spot at all. Oh my god, he's gonna have to end up boosting that, bro. No, he's just gonna end up tagging the lives. In the end, though, he's gonna be fine. Oh, a freaking Camo Ceramic? Wait, am I actually gonna be able to pop that? No, I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, actually, no. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. I, I truly, truly, truly did not think that we would be able to pop that. That is actually kind of nuts. Okay, so from Moab popping power, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do against Moabs? Oh no, boys, this is not good. Th this is really not good. Okay, we could go for a super monkey. We don't have all that much money, though. That's the thing. Yikes, boys, okay. This is not good. Not looking too good at all. I I'm expecting a mob. I mean, he's not really doing anything towards us right now, but he's got to be sending me one, okay? So maybe just spamming these tornado wizards will do the trick. Um, I'm going to set that one to strong, because why not? and uh yeah like i just didn't want to go oh oh okay we're gonna be good against those dude spamming the tornado wizards at the move man <laughs> that was so easy for us i mean he's got literally no money i can't believe he sent us regen and camo ceramics like those combined that's got to be a ton of freaking money this guy is 100 screwed i kind of want to see if he has one more final blue to send us aka a bfb okay because i kind of want to try to defend against that because what i'm going to do is upgrade hopefully to a 4-2 balloon chipper that's going to be able to get the bfb and uh hopefully defend overall right because yeah i don't know how good it's going to be he ended up selling one of the ninjas okay so that leads me to believe that he's going to be doing something all right he is barely by the way able to even defend against this ai right so if he doesn't do something soon pretty sure that he's dead around 22 ai and yes oh Oh, and he's so for oh, oh my god. Okay, that's actually fine though. That's 100% fine. Okay, so we're gonna be able to suck down this lair, which is good, obviously. And then, um, what what do we do? What do we do here, though? What do we do here? I, I think I'm gonna have to damage boost this. I think we're good though. Oh my god, we shredded through that. We didn't even need a boost. <laughs> what was destroying on those mobs? Like, there were multiple mobs on my screen and they just kind of disintegrated. I, I, I don't really know how. Uh, but yeah, Polar is dead to this all out, or not all out, I mean just round 22 AI. No, he's got the tax shooter? Are you serious, bro? He wanted us to all out him. That is actually hilarious. Okay, I'm just going to constantly send him pinks here. He's going to have to constantly maelstrom. It's going to be super, super annoying for him. Oh, he's also got the monkey glue too. Okay, revealing the powers finally, man. And uh, yeah, he's going to try. <laughs> he's trying to copy us with the tornado wizards, okay? He thought they were super OP, but it's just not going to be enough. And Polar ends up going down. Okay, dude. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked how well that did. I, I truly am. Although that guy was not all that good, the damage our towers were doing was actually freaking insane. Okay, so GG's only. I will catch you on the next one. DC, if you're good, is going to beat our next opponent. Okay, we're going to be trying to use these towers again. I do want to incorporate, though, uh, the boat if possible. Okay, I don't think we're going to actually be able to get up a super monkey temple. Um, So I'm probably just not going to use that. I mean, dude. Guys, we are going eco, and it's $100,000 for the upgrade. It, it, that's going to take freaking so much time to get. It's just unlikely to happen, okay? So I'll probably just end up going um, with the boat and the wizard. All right, dude. Inkblot, see, like, we could technically use this strategy, but if we end up playing on this map, yeah, he read it up. I'm not going to be able to use it. There's no way. You know, I want to show off max upgrades, so I'll catch you on the next one. It's not too smart. Oh, he left. Intermit is going to be our next opponent. Hopefully, this guy does not disconnect. Riverside is actually a perfect map for this strategy, boys, okay? No, oh, he skipped it. <laughs> he skipped it. You're lucky. You're real lucky, man, because we got Frozen River, and I think this is another map that will actually work out for this strategy. So, let's get it. So, it looks like Intermit is going to be farm. Okay, so he's not going to be liking the fact that we are sending constant eco. See, dude, going with the boat here, it's actually going to be pretty nice, okay? Because we're going to be able to upgrade to the great shot. But eventually, eventually when we have enough money, we need to upgrade to the 4-2 boat, which is the aircraft carrier, which is a horrible upgrade in my opinion, okay? So, yeah, <laughs> let's start off with this round two by sending the young man constant reds. He currently has no popping power defenses 
on his side. Okay, so I'm assuming his first tower is either the Heli or the Dartling. Uh, because he did go for that farm at first. No! I was wrong! He ends up going for the Wizard. Okay, so he's going to have to upgrade to the Lightning Wizard 100% in order to fully defend against all of these reds. Okay, so he's going to be leaking pretty consistently. No! Ends up using the Glue Storm. We will take that. Any day of the week. Now you only got one more. And we also got one power revealed out of him. Okay, so let's start to send him blues. Super Ego Boost 2! So his last, his last power is definitely the Damage Boost. It has to be. No freaking way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're going to go for the faster shooting on our boat. He's sending us space pinks. He he's just trying to be annoying, you know? Which, you know what? That makes sense. That And that's completely fine. He only got a few lives off of us at the end of the day. So we are 100% chilling. I'm going to be using our first Super Eco Boost right at the start of round 5. Okay, so there we go. And we're nearly already at 400 Ego. This is quite insane, okay? So we get 100% go later, just like we did in the first game. And uh, see where that takes us, okay? Because this guy is also farming. He's probably not going to want to go too, too late. So he'll probably end up all out in us between like round 20, round 24, somewhere around there. I could 100% be wrong, by the way, okay? This is all speculation. So yeah, we are sending now greens towards Intermit. He goes for another wizard, which he probably didn't really need. I could be wrong, though, about that, too, because the greens are slowly but surely pushing, which is kind of shocking to me, all right? But we're going to use our next Super Ego Boost. There we freaking go. And we are at... 579 eco no freaking way ladies and gentlemen okay so we're gonna stop right here at 603 rod date is about to be here if he does happen to send us some yellows we can go for a lightning wizard and uh hopefully that should do the trick with being able to defend her right but there he goes with his last super eco boost i believe and here he comes at us with some space region whites okay so i'm definitely just gonna go for this lightning here and uh that should help us out quite a freaking bit and uh, in the end, we should be able to fully defend against these, all right? Yeah, that was kind of a waste of money, in my opinion. Because, like, dude, I mean, I had to upgrade anyway, you know? I was going to upgrade eventually because it's starting to become the mid-game runs now. But whatever, I guess. Oh, dude, I didn't use my Super Eco Boost, by the way. Okay, so, <laughs> dude, I thought for a minute that I wasn't going to forget a single round, but I ended up doing so. Okay, so now we're at 680 Eco. Pretty good amount, pretty solid amount for sure. Ooh, I'm going to go for the Destroyer here, boys. That's going to allow us to defend against all of this. And he's got the freaking village. Wizard village, no freaking way, okay? You'd love to see it. So now I believe that our chances of late game are way higher now because wizard village is pretty good uh, during the late game rounds, okay? Obviously, having the village is going to enhance his towers and whatnot. Um, so yeah, oh, he ended up not actually using damage. He's another boost, but that's going to allow him to defend, okay? All I sent him right there was constant pings. He's probably not happy, but we already have over a thousand eco, and it's round 14. That that's just nuts. That is freaking nuts. I'm going to be expecting some sort of aggression from the young man on round 15 and round 16, probably with like regen leads. He only has three plantations, okay? So he needs to get up his farm game a little bit more. Ends up going for a republic? No way. I thought for sure he was saving up money to send us a rush. That's crazy. Oh, <gasps> he's so Dude, he sold. Okay, so he sold it to replace it because he wanted the other farms to also be affected by that village. Okay, that's smart though. 100%. Wow, but that was kind of a waste of money at the same time. But in the long run, it should help him out, all right? But we do have 1300 eco. Oh my goodness, we are absolutely greedy to the max. Okay, but we still have all three of our damage boosts and also a glue storm to rely off of. So I think personally, we are chilling. All right, maybe I over ecoed a little bit. Just a tad bit because he's probably going to end up sending us a mob here. And uh, that's not going to be all that fun to defend against, all right? And uh, yeah, he is. Okay, so yeah, that, that's not fun at all. I'm going to probably have to damage boost this. I think so, boys. I think so. I'm going to go for the summon one more two if possible. Yep, it's going to be able to push those all back. There we freaking go. All right, so that was a little bit scary. But you know what? Th that's fine. Oh, he's still no. Oh, oh my god. He just sold all his farms. Wait. What is he doing? He's going for the BIA. <laughs> I thought for sure that he was about to all out us. I was like, oh my God, are you freaking serious, bro? That was really, really scary for a second. All right. But obviously he is not and we are chilling. Okay. So to defend against BFBs, obviously he shouldn't be sending them in the first place. But if he does, I'm not going to go for the boat pool. Okay. Because I want to showcase the left side of the upgrades. I'm going to go for the super wide funnel and then we'll be able to defend that with that okay because we still have yet to even showcase the fact that we have a blue and chipper all right i was expecting some aggression but that kind of makes sense now that he did go for that bia so 
Maybe I should start max equaling a little bit harder. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go for another destroyer though. There we freaking go. And let's continue on sending constant pings towards him. And the AI and everything is obviously just going to get harder and freaking harder. But it looks like he wants to push on even later, which is fine by me. Okay, 100%. I'm actually feeling super confident with this strategy. Okay, because obviously the bow and the wizard combo, pretty solid. Pretty solid for sure. But we just can't upgrade on the right side for any of these towers, actually. Okay, they all have to be max upgraded on the left side and i'm actually excited to see how that's gonna work out because i like really neglect these upgrades i i truly truly do uh but let's see what happens with these ceramics in this ar right our wizard is gonna actually be able to push those all back giving our boats more time to pop them down and yeah we ended up being good let's freaking go ladies and gentlemen okay and currently we're at 2500 eco very very solid amount of eco for sure he could by the way at any point in time send us a zomg and if we want to defend against that I probably should go with a ton of destroyers, pop those down to the BFB layers, and then get up some super wide funnels in order to suck up the BFBs, all right? But dude, look, he copied me. He literally saw how effective my Tornado Wizard was <laughs> and got one in the back of the map. That is actually freaking hilarious, man, okay? We are at now 3,000 eco. Looks like Intermit is just going to continue on farming, okay? So he's going to be good 100% against like round 24, round 25 AI. We, on the other hand, though, we're going to have to upgrade our defense a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm actually going to stop Eagle just for a second. Probably go for this. We can upgrade, too, by the way, on the left side or the right side. I'm sorry. And I'm going to go for another Destroyer. And I probably should go for, like, another Wizard towards the front of the map. Okay, because this Wizard actually can't hit these AI balloons until they're, like, down here. So, yeah, I'm a lot more confident with having another Wizard there. And round 25 AI was a breeze for us, okay, as I expected. Uh, but we have a little bit of money saved up as well, dude. No way. No way is actually we're going to... If we end up winning this game, I'm actually going to be very, very impressed. Because obviously, remember, I ranked all these towers in the lowest tier out of every tower in the game. So, <laughs> I did not expect these upgrades to do all that well, right? Oh, God. These are a lot of regions and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to glue storm this. Oh, he's in this. oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, I don't know why he sent us a single Moab. Uh, I can't get another thing up there. Okay, that's fine, though. So, we're going to go for some super wide funnels, ladies and gentlemen. Set these bad boys too strong. And he is shocked to see that we have... Oh, no. I put that on one on a close. Okay, but he is shocked to see that we do, in fact, have the chipper. <laughs> this is nuts, boys. Wait, why are this balloon chipping? Or, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I thought it was round 32 AI for a second. Oh my goodness, okay. But I think we're going to be able to pop this layer down. I did upgrade to two aircraft carriers, and it looks like it's shredding through these OMG layers slowly. Slowly, but freaking surely. And uh, we're going to be able to suck those down. Okay, let's go, man. Let's freaking go, bro. But I'm also scared. I am really, really scared. Oh god, oh god, okay. Are we going to be able to defend against this? Should we damage boost? I'm going to. I'm going to just to be safe. I'm going to just to be safe. And we end up defending. No way. No way. We probably didn't even need to damage boost. But just to be safe, I, I ended up doing so. Oh my god. That is actually crazy. Dude, wait. He just sent us a ZOMG out of nowhere too. He still has money. I thought for some reason that was an all out. <laughs> no, it was nowhere near an all out. It did deplete his eco a little bit though for sure. Um, so not looking too good for intermittent, all right? He probably should not have done that. Like he should have just full sent it, you know, and he probably should have waited a little bit longer. Uh, but now I've been a lot more confident with these. Wait, wait. Oh God. We have like no camel head defenses. <laughs> all right. We're good now, but he should have just full sent it and waited a little bit longer because he could have sent us a lot more balloons, all right? For freaking sure. And I was not ready by any freaking means. Okay. These regens in the AI, like get me scared all right but now with having these chippers all over the map too like i'm feeling way more freaking confident boys no way this is actually this is working out so well he's gonna have to boost he should have had to boost this round 31 ai oh no and round 32 ai is about to be here okay he's gonna need more freaking wizards on the map okay 100 percent. oh my god wait why are those pushing so much why are those oh my god i got super scared for a second oh he's literally straight up all out of me oh god okay so we have to go for these super wide funnels 100 freaking percent we got the money in order to do so ladies and gentlemen okay so we have got a great great chance of defending against this okay we're probably gonna have to end up boosting once again too oh god 
That's a lot of ZOMGs. That's a lot, man. Oh, are we going to be able to pop this down? Oh, God. We may need another boat. We do need more boats. I can't get them. The spaces are too small, boys. No, we're barely even popping them down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, where is the water on the map? I literally can't see. Okay, we got another boat up there at least. That's probably not going to do all that much though. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It, it's It truly is not. It truly is not. You know what? If we end up dying, it was still a very, very good run. Okay, so I'm going to end up boosting this. And uh, hopefully that can pop all these down. I want these Tempest Tornadoes towards the back of the map to hopefully push back the ceramics and whatnot. Oh god. Oh no. It does not look all that good though, boys. That's going to be a lot of freaking lives and whatnot. And I think we're going to end up, unfortunately, going down. No. Dude, that was still, that, that was so, so good, okay? I, I definitely could have counted or whatnot. But I kind of wanted to try to defend against that. Obviously, it was just a little bit too much for us. But still, GG's. And the last question that I asked you guys in the last video was, what is one of the best starting towers in BTD Battles or right in the answer? Is the tax shooter right? So this guy won. Congratulations, man. And the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, what was the most surprising tower in today's video, all right? This is definitely a subjective answer, but make sure to still leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy. Once again, it's been your Robo Tricks, or Justin. Peace out, everybody.